some maybe on the right wing might consider that to be extreme. Why would I beat these people up? Well, now here comes Laura Ingram to provide a rationale. You should beat them up because they want to have sex with your kid. It all is gonna come back to pedophilia. All right wing politics these days does because of QAnon. It hasn't gone anywhere, it's actually becoming more popular and they know exactly what they're doing. Here is Laura Ingram making the case. This has been my first year in preschool with a class of my own, teaching alongside another queer neurodivergent educator. And we have been rocking our twos class. We've been talking about gender and skin color and consent and empathy and our bodies and autonomy. It's been fabulous. Oh my God, when did our public schools, any schools, become what are essentially grooming centers for gender identity radicals? As a mom, I think it's appalling, it's frightening, it's disgusting, it's despicable. Florida just passed a bill to keep this type of type of sexual brainwashing out of schools. Democrats though claim the bill is bigoted, branding it as the don't say gay bill. Well, nice try. The real controversy though isn't this bill. It's that schools are peddling gender ideology when our international rankings in math, science, and reading are down across the board. And I have to assume, I apologize, we cut off the video. I'm sure that she goes on to explain how if we make kids feel ashamed of themselves, they'll perform better in geometry. Um, but anyway, she knows exactly what she's doing. You let, let In case you missed it, if you're focusing on the terrible things she was saying, uh, here's the lower third that was playing. on. Liberals are sexually grooming elementary students. So we have moved in maybe three days. From the press secretary for Ron DeSantis, implying that anyone who has a problem with this bill is a pedophile, to just claiming they're all pedophiles. Fox News, again, audience in the millions, goes on to have this lower third, Dems happy to run on pro grooming platforms. So if, if you're not tapped into right wing insanity, what they're playing into there is a long standing, intentionally inflammatory and dangerous stereotype of gay individuals as being predators and pedophiles. They are coming for your kids. So that teacher who she played, who seems like the most delightful person ever, who just wants kids to understand themselves and others, to feel a bit of compassion. Laura Ingram would have you believe she wants to have sex with your kids. And any politicians who agree with her that, that kids should feel accepted, they too want to have sex with your kids. It's all QAnon. This is not some fringe, this isn't the fringe. This is the whole thing at this point, Anna. Yeah, look, it does. none of this surprises me, right? Uh, if you don't allow the right wing to bully kids who uh, identify as different from what they accept, well, then you're a pedophile. That's, that's essentially what they're saying. If you don't allow us to bully these kids, if you don't allow us to make them increasingly uncomfortable about uh, whatever lifestyle, whatever identity, whatever we don't like, well, then you're a pedophile. It's a way to intimidate people. It's a way to prevent them from feeling comfortable speaking out against uh, what the real intentions of this type of legislation and this type of debate is really about. And I just want to note, the right wing not only does not care about human lives, children's lives. They also don't care about ensuring that your children get a quality education. Because if Laura Ingram is genuinely concerned about reading and math and, and how our students are failing, maybe she would be concerned about the fact that the party that she supports so aggressively has advocated for and in some states really succeeded in defunding our public education system. How about have a yeah. discussion about that? But of course she's not, uh, she's going to, uh, totally support the gutting of our public schools. And then when it's convenient for her and her political agenda or whatever talking point she has, she's going to point to the destruction that she took part in as proof for why we need to bully gay kids in schools. It's so stupid, yeah. it really is. Exactly, I, I, I don't understand how we as a society end up with, there are certain industries that they will pretend automatically to support. So they pretend that they like cops, even though they're okay with occasionally Trump supporters trying to beat them to death. They supposedly like coal miners, as long as the coal miners shut up and never advocate for their own interests. The second they do, forget the coal miners, we're not interested. They like truckers now, as long as the truckers are talking about vaccine mandates that don't exist again. The, the LA port right now has a, a, a trucker strike going on. They want more pay, so Fox News isn't sending any reporters there. Why not teachers? 
or your teachers instantly suspect, instantly open to be disrespected, attacked, to have hatred and suspicion launched towards them? Is it because of their massive paychecks? Is it because every school teacher is so rich that they feel open to demonize them? I don't understand it, but this, this I do. is ugly, this is dark, give it to me. Yeah, uh, these are wealthy people who can afford to send their kids to private schools. They don't wanna pay anything in, in the form of property taxes, for instance, to help fund public education. So when they make these anti-teacher, anti-public education arguments, it's really all about their greed and their desire to avoid having to contribute to a system that is meant to provide a basic education for everyone in this country, regardless of what their socioeconomic status is. They hate that, they hate the opportunity that it provides for people who don't happen to be their rich little children. That's what it's about. By the way, we'll close on this. Uh, belief in QAnon is up several points since Trump was voted out. By the way, since Trump is voted out, uh, as far as I've seen, there has not been one single Q post. It doesn't exist as a thing, a movement that is based around this liar who's pretending to be in the US government. But it's out there and it's in fact bigger than it was a year and a half earlier. Isn't that amazing? Well, why not? They're getting, they don't need to go to 4chan or 8kun or whatever it is uh, to get the stuff that they like. They can watch Laura Ingram, they can watch Tucker Carlson and get out, get all of it right there. It's a great system they set up. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.